JT here with your CLT FC Fan TV News. For the fans, by the fans, damn it. This week, your Charlotte FC had a presser where we got to speak with President Nick Kelly about what's going on with Charlotte Football Club. First thing we talked about was the signing of 18-year-old Phenom from Cary, North Carolina, Adam Armour. Then we talked more about the CFO position. Finally, what's going on with the manager? Where's the manager? Let's take a closer look at Adam Armour. On Tuesday, the club announced they'd signed defender Adam Armour, a native of Cary, North Carolina. And he joins on a two and a half year contract with a one year option. Armour played with the U.S. under 17 men's national team roster for the 2019 FIFA Under-17 World Cup in Brazil and the 2019 CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. The 18-year-old played a total of 19 games with the national soccer team. Both parents are from Dominica and Jamaica. The U.S. Youth International signed with the German second division FC Nuremberg in the fall of 2020. He's good. Real good. To be able to play in your home state and represent the Carolinas in matches against MLS teams is a great challenge and a dream come true, says Adam. Well, dreams do come true, Adam. Let's see what President Nick Kelly has to say about their latest signing. We've been scouting Adam, obviously, since, he, you know, since we opened up and then you know, with him being a Carolina native and we also know in the NCFC team really, really well. It's been a, it, was, it was easy for us to understand that, like, what his skill set and opportunity is because he has such great training at a young age. He has the, the U17 U.S. national team caps. Like, you start looking at all that experience and then the, when he was over in Europe, the training he was able to get, you know, he really just needs some playing time now. So, you know, the opportunity for him to come, spend some time with the independents, get some playing time, and then more importantly, the next two Two and a half years get time to learn from some of the greats like Christian Fuchs, up and coming stars like Sergio on the back line. Like we'll have such a great uh, defense that to have somebody like him to, to to learn and grow. I mean, you know, he's now challenging some of the best in the league. Uh, you know, if at any point there were an injury or if at any point the, these guys were to move on, we know that we have you know probably the next best back in the league. So that that makes us feel excited about the opportunity. So you mentioned the independence. Is, is it fair to say then that he's going to go over there to play with those guys on loan? Yeah, so he'll go on loan to the independence, uh, and basically, you know, we'll work with them to, to get some quality training. I mean, those. I mean, you know, we have an 18-year-old kid playing with grown men over there, so it'll be very great for him to actually get some of that experience uh, on a day-to-day -day training perspective. Um, that whole group over there has been done, done amazing. They're, they're towards the top of the table in, in the Champions League, so it, like it looks great for him to get out there on a competitive team. Um, and look, we, we want him to get some playing time, but more than anything else, is training with a, with a top flight club like that. I like it, Nick. I like it a lot. Next, we talked to Nick about a really interesting idea, a chief fan officer. That's right, a chief fan officer. Not a gimmick, fully paid employee, all the bennies, everything like that, basically being the liaison between all the fans like us and the team itself. And his job or her job is going to be the person to go out there and make sure that we're all having a great time with your Charlotte FC. So if you know anyone that wants to apply, go to the website, they can apply today. But let's see what Nick Kelly has to say more about this chief financial officer who actually reports directly to Nick. It's not a marketing and communications thing, directly to Nick, directly to DT. So let's see what he has to say about it. Yeah, so we're currently on, the, uh, on a search for uh, a candidate anywhere in, in America to come in and be the voice of the fan within Charlotte, Charlotte FC's organization. It's a full-time benefits type job, uh, but they've got a really tough challenge uh, of building what is our fan culture, what is our fan tradition with the fans. So it's not a heavy handed job. It's not a job where we're asking them to come in there and really just like be the police. We're asking them to come in and be the voice of the fan within our team, go out to the community, talk to the supporter groups, talk to the season ticket holders and bring that feedback back and have to and influence decisions. So uh, it's a big job. It's a lot of responsibility, but that's why we're looking far and wide to find that person. And you said they'd be reporting directly to Yeah, you. so they'll report directly to me, uh, you know, they'll work with myself and our entire organization 
uh, Mr. Glick, Mr. Tepper, like they'll be involved in, in a lot of conversations because it's important that we get this right from day one. Right. And we talked earlier, these are, this, this part's going to be completely different from like game day hype and that sort of thing. Yeah, this isn't our, 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 like our, our game day hype guy or a cheerleader or a mascot. Like their job is pretty, you know, pretty much going to be a, a very cumbersome, you know, understanding the fan and understand what's going on. CFO, CFO, CFO. Whoever he or she is, I hope they like to drink beer. Finally, you know Lee had to give him the question about where's the manager? We thought we'd have a name by now and supposedly it's real close. Let's wrap this thing up seeing what Nick Kelly had to say about the manager situation. We're down to a couple finalists. Zorn's done an amazing job of, of, uh, of bringing in some, some candidates that are all highly qualified, innovative uh, leaders. So, you know, myself, Mr. Tepper, Tom, uh, Mark, t everybody's really kind of had a chance to, to meet these candidates. We're now just kind of narrowing it down. Like, what's the right fit for us? What is their current situation? It'll probably be a month or so, like, just to, to get it right. Or, you know, all, honestly, uh, some of the challenges are everything going on with Gold Cup and Copa America and Olympics. There's just a lot of activity in this marketplace, which in a normal summer, that wouldn't be the case. Uh, so I think that it's just put a little bit more of a you know, pause or slow on making the, the final decision. So uh, hopefully we'll have somebody here soon. Like we, uh, you know, we're still moving in the right direction uh, as from a player standpoint, it hasn't slowed us down, but we also are getting to the point where we want somebody to come in and, and help influence a little bit more to make sure we're matching their playing style and coaching style. Right. That's about all for now. This is JT signing out for CLTFC Fan TV News. For the fans, by the fans, damn it. Press play, subscribe, and get out there and have some fun. Adios.